Declassified video released by the Pentagon shows Tuesday's mid-air incident between a U.S. spy drone and a Russian fighter jet in international airspace over the Black Sea. A Russian aircraft can be seen approaching the American Reaper drone, which operators say they then had to crash into the waters of the Black Sea. The Pentagon said the video was edited by the U.S. military for length, but shows events in sequential order. U.S. officials had earlier described how two Russian jets first harried and dumped fuel on the unmanned vehicle before the eventual collision, which is not shown on the released video. The incident prompted a rare direct call between military leaders in Washington and Moscow. I just got off the phone with my Russian counterpart, Minister Shoigu. <clears throat> U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin on Wednesday said he'd spoken with Russia's defense minister. And the United States will continue to fly and to operate wherever international law allows. And it is incumbent upon Russia to operate his military aircraft in a safe and professional manner. U.S. General Mark Milley, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, said it was not yet clear whether the collision was intentional or accidental. Was it intentional or not? Uh, don't know yet. We know that the intercept was intentional. Uh, we know that the aggressive behavior was intentional. We also know it was very unprofessional and very unsafe. Uh, the actual contact of the uh, fixed-wing uh, uh, Russian fighter with our UAV, the physical contact of those two, not sure yet. That remains to be seen. Russia's defense ministry claimed the American drone was heading toward Russian-held territory. Said there was no collision, asserting the drone crashed all on its own. The incident has been a reminder of the dangers of direct confrontation between the U.S. and Russia over Ukraine, which Western allies are supporting with intelligence and weapons. We've been waiting for this sort of thing to happen for some time. It's surprising it hasn't already happened. Professor Michael Clark is the former director general of the Royal United Services Institute in London. The United States have been flying drones in open air space across the Black Sea, as they're perfectly legally entitled to do. The Russians have been trying to buzz them and, and disrupt them for months. Um, it was only a matter of time. Despite Russian denials, Clark told Reuters he believes the collision was real, if unintended. This almost certainly, I'm 99% certain, was an accident, pilot error. I mean, you know, the, the SU-27 pilot who can deliberately and safely um, fly his plane into the propeller of a, of a Reaper drone hasn't yet been born. So I'm sure it's an accident, and that pilot's very lucky. Russia said it would try to recover the drone wreckage from the sea. General Milley said the waters where the drone splashed down were four to 5,000 feet deep, making any recovery attempt difficult. He added that measures were taken before the crash to ensure no sensitive information could be gleaned from the wreckage.